This is for a California State title in the full contact rules division. Light heavyweights going at it for two minute rounds. There's Jamie. They call him the Hatchet Comstock. He'll be in white trunks from Bakersfield, California, 176 pounds. And Travis Johnson from right here in San Jose, California, in the black trunks at an even 176. They're going to go four rounds, two minutes each. And Mike Sawyer, if they're anything like any other heavies or light heavies we've seen in the full contact division, it's going to be fast and furious. These guys, we expect constant motion. Both of them have very good trainers, very aggressive trainers. Rick Mendiola for Jamie Comstock, former fighter himself. He'll keep him moving constantly. Travis Johnston with the excellent Javier Mendez as his world leg cruiserweight champion. So some final repairs to the equipment of Jamie Comstock. No corner is complete without a roll of duct tape, and they're ready to go. Chuck Simonini brings the fighters to center. Travis Johnson will certainly have the big backing of the home crowd here. And a wake-up call right off the bat to Jamie Comstock. Travis Johnson adapting a side fighting style right off. Excellent for throwing side kicks and roundhouse kicks to the back of the head, but limited on its versatility for punching. All the kicks and punches in full contact rules have to be above the belt. Down. Now Comstock says he's not knocked down, but Chuck Simonini's going to check him out nonetheless. Clearly a knockdown, and Comstock just ate another sidekick up to the face by Johnson. Comstock off balance, and his eyes went wide right there, real quickly, just a quick glimmer. This is a bit surprised. His head. Again, a sidekick to the face. Johnson has a very good right leg. Very flexible. Snap it up high with power and speed. Again, a side fighting stand for Johnson. Again, Comstock goes down, but no knockdown. Johnson stops. Oh, no! Absolutely. Johnson has thrown more kicks than punches, I believe, and they're landing. Comstock with more of a classic straight-in style. That caught him. The right hand caught Comstock. He's in trouble. Simonini <laughs> was thrown apart from Matt Flurry, and Comstock is getting the eight count he deserves. One and a big left hand again lands from Travis Johnson. Has to be very confident that his second uh, will be a strong one after the showing in round number one. This is the first knockdown by Johnson. You'll see he comes across with the back leg, the last thing Comstock expected with that right foot forward side fighting style of Johnson. Knockdown number two. This time it's punches Johnson's coming in with. And not even a defense by Comstock, which totally baffled. Chuck Simonini did the right thing, actually took a little left hook himself, stepped in and gave a standing eight count to Comstock. Jamie Comstock now getting some words of encouragement. I'm sure they have to be in the corner from his trainer as they get ready for the second round. Scheduled for four. And it looks like Travis Johnson wants no part of four rounds. I think what Rick Mendiola must have been telling Comstock is get in there and fight your fight. Don't get baffled by his fighting style and lay back. Get in there and do your stuff. Johnston sticking to more of a side fighting style. No knockdown. Comstock having real trouble staying on his feet. I don't know if it's because he's trying to bail out of those clashes or if there, there might be something wrong with his foot gear. Doesn't look a little 
It may not have been his decision to wear the footgear, but in full contact, if one of the fighters opts to wear the footgear, both must wear the footgear. Spinning back fist attempt actually struck with a forearm, but it was on the opposite side from referee Chuck Simonini, and he did not see that it struck with the forearm. Otherwise, it'd be a point penalty against Comstock. Johnston now in more of a classic style, occasionally switches to the side stance. Final seconds of round two and a big step left for Johnson. Good, good left hand by Comstock, best punch of the fight for him. So, Andre, what we call soccer in the States, in Europe, you call football. Yes. But you also have our football, which you call... Football. Well, why don't you call our football your soccer? That way you'd have our football your soccer, our soccer your football. So instead of having football and football, you would have football and soccer just like us, but the reverse, you know? Avoid confusion. I suggested. Excellent. Jamie Comstock in the white trunks going against Travis Johnson in the black. Johnston still using that, that right leg like a pro. There it is. The left stiff. And the towel is thrown in. Jamie Comstock is glazed over. Comstock doesn't know where he is. Walked right into a straight left hand. And Travis Johnson. He had used the kick so many times in this fight, but he ends it with a huge left. Travis, Travis Johnson caught him with a straight left hand that Comstock never saw coming. He still doesn't know what hit him, though. This is the replay. You'll see it come out of nowhere. Comstock walks right into it. That punch had power on it. Whether he had walked into it or not, it would have taken him down. Again, watch Comstock. Add his own weight to that punch. Travis Johnson saw the opening and took full advantage of it. And he is the California State title holder now for full contact rules in the light heavyweight division. An impressive fight. Jimmy Comstock seems to have covered a little bit. He will not remember that punch. Temporary amnesia almost always follows a slight concussion that he probably has from that punch. Ladies and gentlemen, at the 22 second mark of the third round, the winner, virtue of knockout and new California State full contact light heavyweight champion from San Jose, Travis Johnson! Rarely sent messages all fight long that he was capable of doing that, either with the feet or the hands. And Travis Johnson with a big knockout in the third is the new 